Hoffman, and I'm a junior at the University of Arkansas studying human resources. I used to be an art major, and I really love art. Today, I'm at the Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art in Bentonville, Arkansas. It's a really neat place with a unique art collection that everyone would be interested in. The art that I'm going to discuss today is a piece called After the Last Supper by Deborah Sperber. It was finished in 2005. It is made with 202,236 spools of thread. Unfortunately, this piece is no longer available for viewing at the Crystal Bridges Museum. So here's an image of the piece. It is made entirely of spools of thread that are hanging from an aluminum ball chain. When it is seen by the naked eye, the spools just look like a colorful abstract piece, sort of like a pixelated picture on the computer. Deborah Sperber has a lot of other pieces that are made just the same way based on very famous works of art. This one is based on The Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci. Here is the image when you look through the glass ball in the front of the piece. Now the viewer can tell that the thread actually is being hung upside down and backwards. By the use of optical aids, this image actually looks 3D. This view is of the vanishing point, which is Christ's eye, just like the original da Vinci painting. This image is an icon of Christian art. It, has, it is naturalistic in form, with the people arranged geometrically. There are four groups of three apostles with corresponding poses. The paintings on the wall behind them act as a frame. There are so many remakes of this painting, but this is by far the most interesting in my view. Stylistically, I would group this piece with mid-20th century pop art. It has a connection to Marison Escobar's interpretation of The Last Supper, which is done with wooden sculpture. I chose this piece because it caught my eye when visiting the museum. It definitely took a lot of time and talent. I really love the original painting, and the thread interpretation to me is truly amazing. I love how you sort of go on a journey. First you see the abstract thread spools and all the colors, and you don't really know what to think. And then slowly you start to see the full image, and then you can look in through the ball and see the image in 3D form. If any of you are interested in other pieces done the same way, with made with spools of thread, you can check out her collection, which includes Andy Warhol, Monet, John Lennon, and Van Gogh, and Picasso, as well as other pieces that you would recognize all done this way. I hope you enjoyed my video, and definitely look up Deborah Sperber and try to go see this piece for yourself.